Just make sure every time, maybe look through all of the notes of the database and credit these databases that you're using or check out if they have any licenses or things like that. You will see all of these results. And I believe the one that I choose is this one here by Energy Chaser. So this is an object detection database and gives you a little bit of metrics. And all you have to do is forking this project and creating the first version of this project. So you can fork, you will need to select your space. In this case, my space is called SnapML. Then you fork the data set, you prepare to copy this data set, everything is set up for you. And when it's being forked, you will need just to answer many questions here. You can also go with just the default. We just need the data set and nothing else. We don't want to make other modification to it. 